Hey guys, my seven you're back for another video What's going on guys and today I'm here back for another video on my Minecraft Gotham City World. And uh yeah, so um today I decided to make a video and it's gonna be kinda like a quick video, um and that's kinda why I'm just gonna be doing my observatory today. You can probably tell from the title that's what I'm doing. And yeah, I don't have Goth Corp done yet. I'm still uh technically, you know, away doing exams and whatnot. I finished my first one today. Uh, well, today's as in Friday. You'll probably get this upload uh, on Saturday, which will be tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, so uh, I just finished my first exam today, and it was one of the big ones I was preparing for. So uh, yeah, it went it went really well, and I you know I really felt prepared for it and stuff, and it was really good. So uh, I basically I kind of took the night off, and now I got to go back studying again for Saturday and Sunday, and uh, you know I'd say. The last, my last exam is a week from this Monday, so I've got a while yet till I can actually come back and start giving you guys full, you know, videos and stuff again. But I decided since I was on my break, I'd make a video for you guys, and since I didn't have Goth Corp still done because I've been away, I decided I'd do something that I already have done, which is my observatory. So that's what we're doing today, and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna start over here because um, you know the first part of the observatory is actually over here, sort of. Uh, basically what this is, this is like a little um, walkway, and I've seen these walkways in like multiple cities and stuff, they're kind of like in between buildings, and it leads to like this wharf, and you come down here, and you got this wharf, and you got a boat here, and this boat basically is the boat that would lead you over to uh, the observatory. Now this boat, I'm not super proud of the boat, it's been here for a while, just like the observatory has been, the observatory has been here for a long time, and I'll talk about that for in a little bit, but uh, yeah, so uh, this boat has been here for a while as well, and uh, yeah, I just decided, hey, I'll try some stuff with some, you know, quartz stairs, and I just wanted to see if I could make the boat look all slick and stuff. It's not the greatest looking thing ever. It doesn't have a steering wheel or an engine or anything that actually makes the boat function, so, you know, it's kind of useless, but, I mean, hey, it's, it's a boat, I guess. I got some seats back here. It's kind of cool. Um, got this front seats up here, I guess, and uh, you got, like, a little glass right here. So yeah, and you got this little uh, little walkway that kind of like folds out, and uh, you can walk right onto the boat. So that's the boat, and now we're gonna go over and look at the actual observatory itself. So, uh, just looking at the outside here, I try to kind of go for like this, I don't know, like this rounded look almost. I try to make it look kind of like a tube, um, like kind of like that, and it just kept you know getting um, you know uh, more compressed as it got to the top. And then it kind of end off on a flat top. I didn't want to go any further and keep going up and up and up because it wouldn't look as good. So I just kind of flattened it off on the top because I didn't want the uh, the top being you know pointed or anything like that. I didn't want it being uh, going up too tall. And um, yeah, so I just kind of left it. I think that's a good height to leave it at. So that's pretty good. Uh, now right here we got a telescope coming out. And basically what these little side things are, they're kind of like. I don't know. They're kind of like doors, almost, for the uh, for the telescope. Let's assume the telescope would kind of like fold in, almost. So if the telescope folded in, um, you know, maybe in case of a thunderstorm, I don't know, uh, the telescope would fold in, and these little these little doors almost would go over to the side like this, and then they get pushed into the wall, and then it would just look like this big, uh, you know, kind of like tubed object. Like it just close off uh, that part there. That's all it would do. So, uh, yeah, I, I left it open, of course. I didn't have, uh, you know, the telescope, you know, compressed inside or anything. I actually had a telescope pointing out because it actually gives it a little bit more texture to it. I didn't just want this weird, giant, spherical tube-like thing just in the middle of the water. And I was like, what the heck is that? Like, what is that? It looked almost like a giant thumb or something, and it just looked weird. So, of course, I had to have the telescope actually, you know, coming out of the building. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um... Down on the bottom, we've got some uh, mountain design. I call it cave design either way, same thing. Uh, that was actually made by Will um, earlier in my uh, world and stuff. I had to start learning how to do it myself. But earlier in my world, Will did a lot of my cave design for me because he's really good at it. So uh, this is a little shout-out to uh, my good buddy XXWill55XX. But, uh, yeah, I, I normally do shout-outs for him in Gotham at the end of the video, so I'll probably do that again as well. But I just wanted to you know, mention Will and uh, thank him for doing the cave design or mountain design on the bottom there and uh, yeah so that's basically the full way around I mean it's basically the same all the way around there's nothing really uh, speaking of the de speaking of the devil the wheels on uh, but yeah there's not um, you know there's not a whole lot to the outside it's just kind of like a you know a tube like you know 
I, it, you guys get the idea. It's basically kind of like a giant tube thing that kind of compresses on the top. So now we're going to get on this wharf. This is the wharf by the observatory. You just kind of walk up and you come inside. So um, right here we have a bat gift shop and we have a gift shop. I'm going to explain what the bat gift shop's for. So back, I'd say, when I was first starting my world off, it was around after I built my GCPD, I'd say, and it was a little bit after that. I don't know how many buildings I had done, but it was this is one of the first things I actually built on this world. Um, I did build Wayne Manor, and then I built you know the island, the first island, of course, and then uh, I built a miscellaneous building, and then I built my GCPD, and then I think I built this, but I'm not quite sure. So this is one of my earlier builds, and I believe I started my world uh, last summer. So it's been I've been basically on this world for like a year now, which is pretty crazy to think about. It's almost a year since I started my world, and uh, really cool. So um, basically, on one of my old videos for my old Gotham City, when I went and uh, you know reviewed that, and I was secretly working on this, uh, someone gave me an idea to do an observatory. He said from Batman and Robin. I don't know who the exact person is, but you know whoever you are, if you're watching the video, thank you for that. Uh, you know that little idea on one of my old videos. It was like the first or second half of my old Gotham City. And uh, yeah, so I decided instead of doing it on my old world because I don't work on it anymore, I decided to do it on my new world. So that's what I did. And a little while back, like not very long ago, I decided to build a uh, you know some gift shops down here to make it more interesting. Originally, I just had this path going up to, into the observatory, and it wasn't as good. So I decided to add some gift shops and uh, you know make it more interesting and more appealing. So I added a back gift shop. And since he wanted the observatory to be from Batman and Robin, I didn't want to have that one observatory where that guy is holding it up, you know, inside Gotham. I wanted to be outside Gotham in the water, kind of like. Uh, I believe it was like that in Lego Batman 2. That's probably where I got the idea from. But I did decide to have some references to Batman and Robin. So this is where this gift shop comes from. So, let's see what we got here. We got a possible working freeze gun. This is basically supposed to be like, uh, it's a freeze gun that's, you know, you'll go and buy for your kid and you'll think it's a toy and it's really Mr. Freeze's freeze gun. So, you can kind of see where that's kind of going. So I just kind of put a real freeze gun in here. Um, and of course, I'd use a bow and arrow because we don't actually have freeze guns in Minecraft. So, yeah. Uh, next, we have bat nipples. <laughs> I, I had to make fun of this. This is like the biggest thing people make fun of in Batman and Robin. Among all the things that went wrong with that movie, that was the biggest thing. I mean, Batman had them. Robin had them. I'm pretty sure Batgirl had them too. Um, I'm, I'm sure Alfred, you know, wore bat nipples on the weekends. You know, everyone just in that movie had freaking bat nipples. So, you know, uh, I just kind of put him in the gift shop here. I figured, you know, who doesn't want bat nipples? I mean, I I certainly would would like some bat nipple. Moving on. Uh, super slow and dramatic grapple. So this is a grapple gun. And uh, if you notice in the Batman and Robin movies, when they shoot off their grapple guns, it's really slow and dramatic. And they show the grapple latching on to, you know, whatever object it latches on to, like a gargoyle or whatever. And it shows it from like 50 different angles, and it takes forever. I looked back and I was like, wow, this is true. Like, someone pointed it out, and I was like, you just can't unsee it after. You're like, wow, that is completely true. So, if you ever go back and watch the movie for whatever reason you'd want to, uh, yeah, go and uh, watch the grapples. They take a really long time, it's kind of annoying. But yeah, so I decided to put that in there as a joke for that. And a bad ice puns book, because Mr. Freeze had so many ice puns in that. I, I love puns, don't worry, don't you worry, I love puns, but the amount in that movie was a little bit ridiculous. I, I, I don't expect puns when I watch Batman. You see, I like puns, I like Batman, but I like the, their lives are very separate, and they started mixing them together. And I was like, oh god, oh god, here we go. Uh, so now we have an actual gift shop. And um, this gift shop is just kind of like with stuff that would actually be an observatory. So you got, uh, you know, this totally not plastic space rock, which is basically meant to be, it's, it's fake. You know, I don't think astronauts go up and say, hey, let's, let's take some space rock so we can go back and put it in the Gotham Observatory gift shop so people can buy it. I don't, I don't think that happens. So most likely it's probably plastic. It's fake. Uh, we got a picture of stars and stuff. Yeah, maybe you can pretend like those little white squares there are stars so yeah that's uh, stars and stuff uh, we got a mini telescope I actually like this the way this looks this is one of my favorite ideas that I came up with I was like man you know if it had like little legs coming off it actually would look like one which is really awesome so mini telescope and here we have a map of the planets we'll pretend there's planets there I just put you know a map 
Uh, so then you got a, you know, a bunch of cool stuff in your gift shop. So you come and uh, you buy a couple things. Maybe you're waiting in line for the tours. And here we have tours. It says, please wait for your guide. This is kind of like a red line here, just kind of saying, you know, don't cross until you have a tour guide. Uh, you're also probably wondering why there's carpet in here. Um, I'd rather not put carpet in here, but I wanted to light the place up. And I may switch the lights to the roof, but I had the lights in the floor, and I didn't really like having the beacons, like, looking at them. And I like the way they look in, like, high tech. I, you know, probably mentioned that I love um, using beacons as a light source. It's probably my favorite way now to use as a light source. It looks all high tech and cool. But only a gift shop, you know, except for up there, you can't really see them. Uh, but except, you know, for, like, a gift shop, I don't think they'd have high tech lighting in the floor. I don't think that's that'd be a thing, so... I just kind of, you know, left it a little bit more simple and put some carpet here. Maybe I could put, I don't know, I was thinking of putting like a dotted line or like an arrow pointing to where the tour guides are. I don't know. Maybe we'll see. Um, but yeah, I think this looks pretty good though. So uh, I may remove the carpet and put the lights on the roof. But yeah. Uh, so now we go past, assuming we have a tour guide. I am the tour guide because, you know, I'm touring you guys around. So now that you're with me, even though you've been with me for the whole video, uh, we'll go up here, and uh, I got more lights on the floor, and I covered them up with carpet. I don't know why. Uh, so up here, I just went all out with beacons. I went as high tech as I wanted. There's beacons on the roof. There's beacons on the floor. It's everywhere. It's it's crazy. It's beacon palooza. So um, we come up here. We'll go over here first, and you can actually see a good little sneak peek of my amusement mile. That's my amusement mile over there. And uh, there's the telescope we looked at at the beginning of the video, and. Uh, yeah, so um, moving on, we'll come back here now. We got this little monitor right here, and uh, basically I got some you know high tech lighting over the monitor, and it's basically controlling what the telescope does and all that cool stuff. So that's kind of just what it's doing. It's this little monitor here. There's not a whole lot up here. Most of the little references were just the Batman and Robin stuff, making fun of stuff. I didn't put any references to Mr. Freeze or any of the parts of the movie up here. I just kind of did my own thing. And over here, same thing. We got a good look at my music mile from the. Uh, you know, from the side of the telescope, which is really cool. So uh, I really like this room. It's really awesome. Like as simple as it is, it is really nice um, observatory. I really do like it. So I believe that's pretty much it for this video. I do will do one more thing before I go, just to uh, get you guys excited. Um, you guys haven't seen my Arkham Asylum yet. Basically, here's a little sneak peek. You can kind of see it off in the distance here. And those are the bridges. And that's kind of like the walls of Arkham going around there. So that's my little sneak peek. I gave one over in my museum as well because I have a map of my Gotham City in there. And you guys got to see what it looked like a little bit. Here's the walls around Arkham. I still got to do the cave design and everything around Arkham Asylum. And you can see I'm still working on the bridges. I'm still a little bit lazy and trying to finish that up as well. So, uh, yeah, there's a little sneak peek for you guys before I go. But, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and subscribe. That would be really awesome. I do. I love doing stuff like this, and there's going to be a lot more to come. Uh, for those of you who are new to my channel, uh, basically this is my first island. I have a second island and a third island I'm currently working on. And, uh, you know, for the first and second island, before I do videos on those buildings and why they're not all out yet, is because I'm doing, like, last-minute fixes on a lot of stuff. But, um, yeah, that's basically why, you know, the videos uh, aren't all out yet for, uh, you know, the second island stuff. But the second island is basically almost all, all done. I got, like, one building actually left to fill in a space for. So, yeah pretty good and I'm also working on the third island so um, there's gonna be lots of stuff for me to show you guys in the future so if you enjoy this sort of stuff you should definitely uh, check out my channel and subscribe uh, also check out my friends uh, xxwill 55xx and gotham at 759 will actually wanted me to tell you guys that uh, you know for those of you who, who watch his videos as well he actually um, he broke his laptop and he was gonna you know he's off for summer vacation now him and gotham better I'm not yet I still like I said I still got exams going on but he's off now and uh... yeah he actually broke his laptop before he managed to get off for summer uh... summer break or whatever and uh... he was actually gonna start making videos again in the summer because he was so busy with his his uh... you know gotham and stuff and school so then he just um, i'm assuming that's why he didn't upload he didn't really say but um, yeah he just you know he said he was gonna start uploading again in the summer and then his laptop broke so he just wanted to let me let you guys know and uh, yeah, so he's been really busy on his world. I know he's really excited to show you guys what's, you know, coming up. So uh, just kind of wait out for him a little bit if you guys watch him. Um, you know, wait for him to come back because I've seen some of the stuff he's done. I've seen most of the stuff he's done, and he's doing a really good job. So you, I think you guys really like it, especially with like the Arkham games. He did, he's doing a really cool job there. 
Uh, but yeah, so like I said, check Will and Gotham Bad out. And that should be it for me. Like I said, be sure to like and subscribe for more content. Anyway, guys, I'm at 7. I'll see you guys all later. Peace out.